myself, Satish Thalange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we will see regarding the example of resource leveling technique of project. At the end of the session, the observer will be able to apply the skill or the technique for the resource planning as well as management required for the successful completion of the project using the resource leveling technique. As we know that the resource allocation is a, one of the most important part of the overall project in which we go for the assigning of the resource for the individual activities. Once we come to know the resource required for the each individual activities, we are able to go for the defining the overall resource required for the whole project. Now this is a project with the following activities, their duration and the interdependence and the mass and resource requirement. We observe that the overall the organization is saying that the resource limited is to six mass on each individual day. Here the first step is to have the overall construction of normal network diagram in which we have to go for the declaration of the critical path as well as the project duration. So this is a slide which is the overall showing you the network diagram with the activity times and the event times. If you observe here, the overall, the project duration is of 14 days and the critical path is 1, 3, 4 and 5. This is the overall time scale diagram and the histograph before leveling. Now coming to the point, this is the time scale diagram of the project that is of 14 days. If you observe, we have taken the uh, critical path as a baseline. See the critical path is 1, 3, 4 and 5. This is a 1, 3 and 4 and 5. This is a critical path. The construction of time scale diagram is with the scale. And I have constructed the non-critical activities that is 1 to 2 and 2 to 4. Okay. Here I have shown the activities with the continuous line from 1 to 2 but from 2 to 4 if you observe there is a continuous line for the theory duration and after and later on it is a discontinuous. It means that the float associated with activity 2 and 4 is all of the 4 days 1, 2, 3 and 4 days. For that we have to go for the construction of the histograph which the histograph is nothing else it is the overall graph presentation of the resource. Here if you observe the overall the uh, time scale diagram on the each individual day I have presented the resource required for respective activity. If I ask you what is the resource required for activity 1, 3 on the first day it is almost requirement is 4 and for the activity 1, 2 it is 2. So we have to go for the construction of the histograph. The histograph is a, as I said it is a presentation of the resource. Now the resource requirement for the first day is 4 plus 2 it is a 6. So there the x axis is representing the duration and the y axis is representing the, the resource level. So the 6 is the first day requirement that is why I have started with the 6 level. Up till what the 6, require, six resource are required that is 6 mason you have to see parallelly on each respective day for the each individual activities. Now again 1, 3 here the resource requirement is 4 and for the 2, 4 the for the second day again it is a 2 requirement. Up till you have to see 5 it is a resource requirement is 6. Later on when we move from 6 to uh, sorry from 5 to 6 okay up till 5 the requirement is of the 6 resource but from 5 to 6 now when we see the requirement of resource is 4 but from here it re resource requirement is 3. So 4 plus 3 is a 7. So the level has been increased. Up till what it is 7 up till 7 day or up till the completion of 7 day it is a overall resource requirement is 7. Later on from 7 to 8 when we observe the resource requirement is 3 here once again it is a overall 3. The, so 3 plus 3 it is a 6. So we have to come back to the level of 6 we have to go for the construction of the histogram. But when we see when we move from 8 to 9 the resource requirement is 3 for the activity 3 and 
4 but for the 2 and 4 we it is showing that it's have the float so it's a resource conversion will be 0 so 3 plus 0 it's a 3 so now the level it has been reduced to the 3 level similarly up till what it is 3 we when we observe the time scale diagram up till you can see up till 12 it's a 3 so up till 12 I we have gone for the level of 3 later on when we move from 12 to 13 its level has been reduced to 2 because the resource requirement for E activity for the E H into J is the 2 but parallel to 3 at E activity there are no any activities that is why it's, its level has been reduced to 2 now again up till 14th day its requirement is 2 so this is the overall the histograph of the resource required for the each individual day for the each uh, activities which are running on the respective days okay now according to the question we have to go for the leveling of the overall the resource required per day what they have declared that each individual day they require six resource means they have limited the requirement of resource for each individual day that is a six so when we observe in this histograph, there are the two days that is the fifth day and the sixth day, the resource requirement is been raised. Okay. Now, if we observe here, the requirement of the seven has to be leveled to the six or below six. So, how to go for the utilization of uh, the overall time scale diagram for the reduction of the level from seven to six here? In the time scale diagram, we have to observe that what are the float associated with the all individual activities. As we know that the 1, 3, 3, 4 and 4, 5, this is the baseline and it is a critical path. So there is no chance to go for the overall shifting of the critical activities because as it is a critical activities as well it's lying on the critical path, if we delay this particular activities, it will going to affect on the project duration. So, here we have to see the non-critical activities associated with the project. When we see the overall time scale diagram 1 to 2 and 2 to 4, these are the two activities which are having the non which are non-critical activity. Because as we know that 2 to 4 have the float of 4. So we can delay that particular activity or we can start that activity after two days also max to max up till four days but if we go beyond the four then it will affect on the overall project duration so we can shift this activity uh, starting of this activity two to four activity from instead of fifth day we can shift to the six also seven also eight also max to max eight when we shift this particular activity to four starting time what exactly the overall time scale diagram will be there let's see in the next slide for activity instead of fifth day i am starting on the seventh day so from seventh to up till tenth you will be observing that there is a continuous line okay what i have done in the first time scale diagram the activity two four was starting on the fifth day but in the second that is a time scale diagram after leveling what our decision I have taken I am this I have decided to start my activity 2 4 instead of fifth I am starting on the seventh one so from the seventh up till 10 it will be the continuous line because it require three days for the completion so 7 to 8 is one day 8 to 9 it's a second day 9 to 10 it's a third day so there is a continuous line so what you are observing there is the overall shifting of the activity to 4 from 5th to 7th day so here you observe that at the starting there are the two days where the floats are then there and at the end also there are two floats okay so now this is the overall shifting of the activity let's see how exactly the histogram will be there which i am showing in the present graph only at the bottom so this is a histograph of the resource after leveling now start to go for the construction of the histograph from 0 to 1 what is the resource required 4 to 4 plus 2 it's a 6 okay up till fifth day you are observing that there is a resource requirement is of a 6 are you observing here the activity 1 3 the 1 3 the float uh, the resource requirement is 4 but 
here from 2 to 4 there is a float associated so 4 plus 0 it's a 4 only so the level has been reduced from 6 to 4 now okay up till 7th day the level has been reduced to the 4 only because we have shifted the activity that is uh, 2 4 activity from 5th to 7th so here it's starting from the 7th now let's say from 3 to 4 the resource requirement is 3 and the resource required for 2 to 4 from 7th day it's a 3 so 3 plus 3 it's now 6 so now the level is been increased to the 6 up till what is required the 6 up till 10th day it requires 6 days resource now here if you observe that we are achieving our criteria of our question what the question was there we have to level it to the means as we know that we have the limitation of the resource that is daily six days so we have limited to the six level by shifting of the activity that is two four activity which is known as the overall the leveling technique so when we move from the 10th day to the 11th day the resource requirement is three plus zero it's a three so from 11 to 12 again its requirement is 3 only but from 12 to 13 the level is been reduced to the we have achieved the overall the criteria or you can say the limitations set for the our present project now let's see the comparison between the two graph so th this is a graph before leveling and this is a graph after leveling so this is the overall the leveling technique these are the references for the today's session thank you